Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we discuss about ServiceNow archiving system. So for that, we have a separate application which is here. Under this, you see system archiving. So first of all, what is the meaning of archiving? Let's suppose you have your production instance, which is running from last 10 years. So the incidents which were created uh, for first five years or let's say five to six years, are they relevant right now as well? Because these incidents are already resolved or you can say closed and there is no relevance. But the data in the incident table is keep on increasing. Let's say in the beginning it was having around 1000 records, but after 10 years it grows to around 1 million records. So this is not the one case. This is the whole case of all the tables because with times data keep on increasing. So when you search something, when you do any kind of processing on that table, it will take much more time and resources as compared to the table which is having less record. It's more the data, more the time, more the utilization of resources. So to keep these problems away, ServiceNow come up with this ServiceNow archiving system. In archiving, we archive the data which is no longer in process, which is no longer in use. And that process is known as data archiving. So this is the proper definition. Data archiving is the process of moving data that is no longer actively used to a separate storage location while it can be stored in a compressed or indexed format way for future reference and regulatory compliance purposes. Okay. The primary goal of data archiving is to free up the space in the production database which can help improve system performance and reduce storage cost. So I hope you understand the whole concept of data archiving. So what happens in ServiceNow? In ServiceNow, there are two major tables. First one is archive rules and second is archive destroy rule. Let me open one of the example of archive rule, which is familiar to you. You see here email over one year old or ignored. Okay, let me open this. So this is a very common example. You see email over one year old or ignored. It means we are archiving all the emails based on the condition the conditions are emails are created before one year or the conditions are created before last 90 days and the type is receive ignore and send ignored. It means we are archiving the ignored emails. So in order to create this rule, you just need to click on new. Okay. You have to provide the name and the table you want to archive. These two fields you must understand retain reference. It means that in case your table is having any kind of reference field and you want to store the reference field as a reference, it means you want to store the sys ID. In that case, you just need to click this. If you do not click this, in that case, sys ID will not be stored, only the display value will be stored. Let's say name of the user. In that case, only able tutor will be stored, not the sys ID. So if you want to do so, you have to click this, okay? Second option is this auto rearchiving. So you have to do this in case you want auto rearchive of restored records. That's it. You have to provide your condition just like here. You see the conditions are provided. Okay. And based on the data, based on the timing, the schedule will run and it will pick up your archive rule and perform the archiving. After archiving is done, you see here all the archive runs will be posted at the bottom. You can see the state of the archive, how many total records got archive, everything you see here. Along with that, if there is any related record, it will be presented here. Okay. One more thing you have to understand as soon as the data is archived, the data will move to a separate table. Okay. If the table is incident table, a separate table will be created, which starts with AR underscore incident. Okay, so that happens for every table which is archived. Let me show you the example. You see this is sys email, right? But the archive data of this table will be stored in AR underscore sys email. Let me open AR underscore sys email dot list. You see archive email. So for every table, there is a corresponding table which is created whenever you do the archiving for the very first time. So I hope you understand it now. So by using archive rules, you can archive the data according to your wish. But in case you want to delete the data, 
it is not recommended to delete the data from the tables directly okay instead you can archive it but in the archive table you have the option to delete the data from the archive tables so you see here archive destroy rules so you can destroy the archive tables as well and as soon as you click on new so first of all you have to provide the name of archive destroy rule and then you have to provide the name of the table which you want to delete so here you see only the archive tables are available right archive catalog emails archive email and archive knowledge use it means in this demo instance there are only three archive tables which are available and as soon as the number of archive table increases you will see that tables here okay so you can delete the data only from the archive table if you want so just uh, like select the name you have to provide the duration so this is the duration till the time you want the data to be there in the archive table so after that you see regularly based on this duration the control or the system will run the job will run and it will delete the data from archive table so let's say after every two days i want to delete the data from archive table easily you can do so provide a name here okay and click on submit so you see here test delete archive destroy rule is created right now it is not active because the time has not yet come as soon as the time come it will get active and delete the data so this is a simple process of deleting the archive data as well okay along with that you have the option to see the archive logs you have the option to see the archive destroy logs you have the option to see the latest archive status like what is the current status of the archive which is running okay all these things are available here archive properties are also there and you see all the list of archive tables right now there are total three archive tables that's why you see three as soon as the number of archive tables increases you will see the list goes on increasing here okay so this is the simple system archiving application i hope you understand it but you have to be careful while uh, making any archive rule you have to take each and every precautions because you never know who after some time come back to you and see i can't see my data <laughs> so you have to manage that i hope you understand it thank you so much see you next video bye bye